Don't film me, okay? What now? Don't film me. Okay, all right. Look crappy. All right. <laughs> I promise, no filming of you. All right, come on, come on. Oh yeah, oh, come on, camera hogs. So the girls do this whenever they're not running with me. And by the way, I don't care what kind of dog you have. Nobody play fights like a Ridgeback. That's why you get two. Yeah. You know, like we did. Hmm. What's this X down here for? I know better than to step on that. A big 500 pound rock is gonna come down on me. Oh! Of course. It's for me to stand in the right position. Because this is not the right position. But this is, so we'll do that. All right, well, first of all, welcome to the Captain's Shred Shed. As we get into things, first of all, I launched or uploaded my first video yesterday. And it was a very liberating experience. It released a lot of tension all over my body, out of my head. And then that was quickly replaced with, okay, what the hell are you going to do tomorrow? This is what I'm doing now. First of all, I want to say thank you to my lovely bride, Mrs. Captain Monroe, who not only watched the video herself, but apparently got a kick out of it. For those of you who do know Mrs. Captain Monroe, if something's not funny, she'll tell you and uh, stop saying that. But I was grateful that uh, I was able to hit her funny bone as well as a few other people. So thank you for that. Now on the flip side of that, words of one of my favorite comedians, uh, Black, I can't remember the name right now, but thanks for the pressure. But confession time. I was trying to give the impression that I was able to do everything in one take yesterday. That was not the case. I really wanted to. Even the first take I took, I almost went with it. And then it got progressively worse. I did like a dozen takes and actually took, I think, number nine. And this is actually supposed to be about one take, like it or not. Working on getting rid of the ums, getting more familiar and comfortable with the camera, the lighting, the things I need to do before I even press record on the camera. So this is it. You're getting one take today, I promise. What's next on the list there? Oh yeah, flying by the seat of my pants. Well, that is true. I am. I was supposed to get a cheat sheet about like how I'm supposed to progress with this and I haven't gotten it yet. I sent an email, but I really am flying by the seat of my pants on this. In fact, if I understand the 30 day challenge correctly, it's not even that you're supposed to upload anything. It's just that you're supposed to actually record yourself and work on getting more comfortable with the camera. I went ahead and took that a step further. Yesterday was really important. One year birthday of my two girls, Starbuck and Ziva. And I cannot believe it hasn't been a year since we got them. That'll be two months from now. But they have been an absolute blessing in our lives. They've proven to be excellent trail dogs and they're just getting started on their journey with me. And it's just been a blast. Today, as I was taking footage of them, uh, they were both jumping for the apricot tree limbs and they can jump pretty high holy crap uh, meanwhile Bentley is just like on the ground watching like I can't do that so it was their one year birthday today or yesterday rather may the fourth be with you my god I've hated that day and here it is actually my girl's birthday so that was okay that day is a little bit more tolerable one of the other things that occurred this afternoon is that my friend and neighbor Corin came over and we evaluated what we're gonna do with the man door to the shred shed because it doesn't have a door frame. We're also going to redo the barn doors, which I built by the skin of my teeth and did an okay job. I mean, for somebody who doesn't have an ounce of mechanical ability, I didn't do too bad. And actually he was sort of impressed by it as well. He's going, <clears throat> we can do better. Until our next ride, be free and good hunting. You've been on the captain's trail.